here, thank you for joining me for Turner's Journey episode 36. I hope you are all well and you've had fabulous weeks and weekends in your workshops. You guys must be sick to death of the sight of me this week. This is my fourth video this week. Um, there was the goblet on Tuesday, the spinning top on Wednesday, the U UK and Ireland wood turning symposium update yesterday, and now Turner's Journey. You guys must be really sick to the back teeth of me. But anyway, it's great to have you along as always. So thank you very much indeed for watching, and huge, massive thanks again this week for all of your comments, um, mad or otherwise, on um, on the segmented and staved goblet video on Tuesday I was absolutely or I have been absolutely blown away by um, the response to this uh, <laughs> um, a bit of a crazy bit of a crazy project but you know you guys um, Rob Matt and Tim yeah Rob Matt and Tim challenged me with this so um, it was good I really really enjoyed it um, with that big catch there was no injuries um, I wasn't hurt at all um, it was absolutely fine if you want to get a closer look at um, the goblet and how unsquare um, all of the segments are, then head over to the website. The, um, the blog post there has got some uh, closer up images. Um, Wednesday, the, the beginner's project is going really well. I was a little bit nervous, or I have been and still am a little bit nervous about the um, beginner's series of projects. But they're being very well received so if, if you are following the beginners series thank you and if you've sent me some pictures uh, thank you for that as well I will find a way of kind of getting them into either Turner's journey or a separate beginners video um, I'm still working on that I still have them I still have them all so thank you if you have sent in some pictures um, this week, as you can see, has been fairly busy in the workshop, not least with um, the videos, but I've been really busy on the computer as well. Uh, and I've mentioned these w these um, helpful links to you in the past few weeks. Well, I've had a couple of problems with them, but they have now been solved. Uh, so when you click a link, if you want to see, if you want to find out about the airbrush and compressor, you can click the link and it will take you to your local Amazon site if you are on uh, YouTube or if you're on the website you've got a choice of Amazon or eBay links and it will take you to your local Amazon or eBay uh, store. All of the YouTube videos now have the correct uh, links on and a lot of the blog posts have uh, the links in as well so hopefully you guys will be able to find that helpful and useful um, if you're looking for um, some of the items of kit that I use in the projects. Um, now, I, um, last week, yeah, last week I mentioned wonky bowls, um, where the, the the premise of that is, you know, who said a bowl should be round? Well, um, I've been roughing out some bowls this week. This is this one is Lawson Cypress, and I've just roughed that one out, ready to return. Um, because I just want to see, I've got loads of this, I've got stacks and stacks of this Lawson Cypress, um, and hang on, um, yeah so I, I, I wet turned that, um, and here's one that I turned um, a while ago, um, a good few months ago, and as you can see I've coloured it, and it, it takes colour really really well, um, it was just a rough, rough play with this one. Um, but it takes colour really, really well. Let's put those down there. Um, and I've also um, finished, finished turn, as in I've finished these down to their final wall depth width. Um, and these are just drying in the open air, ready to be put back on the lathe and sanded. So when they warp and they're on the lathe and they're going a bit wonky, because I've done some sanding on them already, um, I can keep the lathe slow and I can get a power sander onto them to finish sanding them. So that these are all hazel actually. So that, that one's hazel. Lovely, lovely grain in there. Really lovely figure. The, um, this one's hazel as well. Um, they're quite deep too. They are, they are quite deep. So these are just drying out on the workbench over there. And this one, this one might need a bit of returning. 
Um, I'm not sure. It's a it's very deep. Um, there's a lot of tool overhang over the over the tool rest, and getting down to the bottom is <laughs> is really dodgy. So I've got to be really careful with that. Um, and that's hazel too, and there's some lovely figure in the bottom of that one as well. But it didn't all go according to plan. Um, I was turning some cherry and uh, ended up in the funnel club. Not uh, not ideal. So what I'll probably end up doing with this one is um, putting a, a plug in the bottom. Um, I was just getting carried away. Wet, wet cherry smells so nice and I was just quite happily turning away, turning away and then all of a sudden, dink! Ah, oops. So yeah, that's um, my cherry funnel. <laughs> um, now next week's project um, was going to be this. But I've run out of something that I want to use on it. Um, so this will be the following week's project. So I think for this coming Tuesday's project video it will be um, either uh, perhaps a review of the um, airbrush and compressor, I get a lot of comments about the airbrush and compressor, or a couple of the beginners, um, or rather a couple of the people following the beginners series have asked for an overview of my extraction system. So. Um, drop me a comment and let me know what you would prefer. Would you prefer me to do an overview of the extraction or a review of the uh, airbrush and compressor? Le uh, leave a comment and I'll do the video for you on Monday and get it up on Tuesday. Now this piece, um, this piece of wood um, is burr oak and it was given to me by Mike Walt. Um, I, I know I named the goblet Mike. Um, but I've, I've been thinking about this piece for a little while. Um, so Mike Walt gave me this piece, and it is absolutely stunning. Loads of loads of figure and burr, and it is just a beautiful piece of wood. Um, but I've run out of something I want to use on it, so I've, I've reordered the stuff that I want to use. And it should be here next week, but it won't be here in time for filming of the video. So I've filmed up to this point, um, but it may well have kind of a, a natural edge, wany lid. But again, I'm not entirely sure yet. Um, as usual with me, I'm, I am just kind of making it up as I go along, um, which is one of the reasons, I guess, why you, <laughs> why you guys follow me um, and watch me every week. So, um, so yeah, I'm, I'm looking forward to doing this. It'll be good. Um, yesterday, Thursday, um, Thursday the whatever of um, April, uh, Leon from um, WouldYouBelieveIt.co.uk um, came up and he gave me um, another segmented bulk kit to do. Um, and this one is the seven ring kit. So he's given me all the bits for a seven ring kit because I haven't got a picture on the website of a completed seven ring kit just yet. Um, so that's what I've got for all the inserts as well. So I've got a seven ring kit to do um, for the photographs on the website. All the other, all the others are there already. Um, so I'm really looking forward to doing another segmented bowl kit. If you're interested in the segmented bowl kits and taking a look at what they are, they're on the website. Um, I'll put a link up here uh, and in the description as well, so um, you can have a look at the segmented bowl kits. But they've they've been selling. People are interested in them, which is awesome. Um, thank you very much for that. Um, what else have I? I've actually made some notes. Um, I'm not normally very good at making notes, but I have this time. Um, Turner's Rest, um, my weekly newspaper. That'll be going out to you very shortly, um, if you haven't received it already. Um, there's some brilliant pictures and some ter terrific videos um, I'm sharing out this week. Um, and some um, really interesting articles, wood turning articles as well. I'll put a link up here to Turner's Rest. Um, and that'll be, that'll be good, I hope you enjoy that. Um, Dan at Taylor's Murfield has sent me, I think this is an alpha. Um, an alpha pen kit. Um, so I'm going to do, in the next couple of weeks, three weeks, something like that, I'm going to do a review 
uh, on the Alpha kit, um, give you a rundown of the Alpha kit, how it goes together, um, and turning it, you know, and stuff like that. So thanks very much, Dan at Taylor's Murfield, for sending me sending me that to do a review for you. It'll be my pleasure to do that. Um, I've got to stop saying um. Um, and also, yes, I forgot, I'm, I'm leaning on it and I forgot. Leon from Would You Believe It, when he bought me the <laughs> segmented bowl kit, he also bought me up this rather lovely lump of walnut. Um, and there were a couple of ideas given to me last week by some of you guys. I can't remember off the top of my head who they are. Um, but I will credit you when I do the project. But a couple of people have suggested something that this piece of wood would be absolutely ideal for. I'm not going to tell you what it is just yet, but you'll have to wait and see. Um, a quick question. Somebody, again, I'm really sorry, I can't remember who it was, but it was in one of the comments. Um, said, how about doing a live feed um, or a, um, a Google Hangout or something like that? Um, would you be interested in... in joining me on a live on a live hangout one day, perhaps a live Turner's journey um, on a Friday. It'll be out late afternoon here, I guess, maybe early evening here. Um, so afternoon in the US and horrifically late at night or very early in the morning in Australia. Um, would you be interested in a live feed, a live Turner's journey, a live sort of Q&A thing, if I can figure it out? I'll have to see. But if you're interested, again, leave a comment if you would like to have a live Q&A or a live Turner's journey um, with me uh, at some point. That's it for this week, folks. Um, it, again, it's been a busy week. Thank you again for all of your comments. I will be getting back to you soon. Um, don't forget, Tuesday video um, will be either the extractor overview um, or the compressor um, compressor review, let me know in the comments, um, like a little vote thing, um, and whoever wins, wins. Um, yeah, you get you get the general idea. Um, please do like, share and subscribe if you haven't done so already. If you have, then thank you very much, and please do leave a comment below, and I will always get back to you as soon as I possibly can. That's it, have a great weekend, and I'll see you on Tuesday. Bye for now.